we're just gonna get right into it today. Thank you. Wipe off the razor as well. I just show you like the. Just show me. Yeah. Okay, two backhand, like you throwing a frisbee. Three free hand, thumb on the tip of the nose, coming straight down, using the point of the razor. Four, straight down jawbone. Five, reverse free hand, going against the grain, pull down on the skin. You always pull the skin, then you go straight up. Six. Thing. 
six mush ass area. Other side, backhand, seven backhand side burns, eight freehand, blade coming towards you, nine backhand jawbone straight down, ten reverse freehand standing behind the client going straight up pulling the skin down, eleven going across the chin, twelve is optional, you can either go Free hand, straight down. Our reverse free hand going straight up. 12. Thing is tight. 11 and then 12. And then let me show you a trick too for 11. When you do 11, the middle of the blade goes across, okay? Then I still do 11. I use kind of like the point of the blade to go across. Now I use the back of the blade to go across. And then it sets you up for 12. So 12, you're gonna go freehand, or reverse freehand. Then 13, pull it away from Adam's apple, come straight up to the left. Pull down, come up, pull to the to the right. And then 14, straight off the lip. Coming straight up. Reverse freehand. Okay, so anytime you go up, it's reverse freehand. Okay? Two, six, seven, and nine is backhand. So remember that. There's four backhand movements. Two, six, seven, and nine. There's two, six. Seven and nine, okay? So it's how you position the raising. That's how they know if you know your strokes and if you're doing it right. Cause backhand is always like this, like you're throwing the frisbee. Free hand is straight down, reverse. Free hand just coming straight up. You wanna do the facial? Yeah, the facial, yeah. Facial move 11. Facial movements. First zigzag on the forehead. Three to four times. Stop. Two. Slide. Circling motion. Three to four times. Stop in the middle. Crisscross. Three. Side of the nose. And then four. Go around the eyebrows, come down to the tip of the nose. So each movement sets you up for the next movement. Bam. Five temples. Six upper cheek, peak behind the ear. Upper cheek, peak behind the ear. Seven, lower cheek, stop by the corner of the mouth, slide up. Lower cheek, stop by the corner of the mouth, and it's gonna set you up for eight. Thumb right over the mustache area. Eight gonna set you up for nine. Circular motion on the jawbone. Nine gonna set you up for ten. You cradle it. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> Push <door. laughs> Then eleven. 11, you go down the neck area, come up to the chin, cheek, peek behind the ear, then you go down, you do this movement three to four times, and then once you do it on the last movement, three to four times, you fan off. This is how you fan off, peek behind the ear, and you come off. Okay? So remember, 11, and you fan off. And six, is, six and 11 is the only two movements you do with the peek behind the ear. Okay, so you're just working your way down the face. You're getting your forehead, then you're getting your nose, then you're hitting the temples, then you're hitting the cheeks, the upper lip, and then you start to, the jawbone area and your cheeks. You know what I'm saying? Jawbone area, then your neck. Okay? So each move is going to set you up for the next movement. Okay. Two. Three. 
It went out. It went dark. Just tap the screen. Six. Position the head. Thirteen. Thirteen is gonna be you doing it twice because you pulling it to the left, going up across. I mean, away from Adam's apple. Then you pulling it to the right, going up, away from Adam's apple. I kind of like do it. Like at an angle. I just don't come straight up because of the lip and you got a lot of hair and it feel like a pull and if you add too much pressure you can cut them. So I do 14 when I come up, I kind of like come at an angle. When I come at them sideways, I still go up with it because it's just a lot easier, you know what I'm saying, for me to do it that way. Because sometimes their lip is sunk in and it's hard to get it. You can easily cut somebody, you know what I'm saying? So that's why you always stretch. Then I kind of like, I go up and I hit at an angle. 14. It's just easy. Okay? What's good, y'all? I am headed to lunch right now. Um, probably when I get back, I'm, I'm gonna just try to study on like the facial strokes and probably just do the facial strokes then the facial movements and then like the scalp manipulation scalp manipulations i'm just going to study on that and just try to uh get ready for the board even though i'm only like two and a half months in and i'll be graduating in like nine months if i come every day i still want to just practice it and it's pretty slow today um it's thursday so it's not going to be a lot of people coming in uh for the most part so i'm just study practice the shaving and then that'll be a wrap for today so um i'm gonna go ahead and end, end the vlog right now uh, make sure you like comment and subscribe also follow my social media um uh, i will be releasing videos every day until i graduate and i'll try to push through and just continue to just continue to upload 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 until i graduate and then once i graduate i'm gonna be more consistent but probably only like three days a week or so that's still a lot but you know just not gonna do daily vlogs so i know i'll probably do, be doing different stuff if that makes sense hope you guys have a blessed day being safe out there and i'll see y'all in the next one